Yeah, I'm Joy. I'm a third year music student at Goldsmiths and I'm just going to show you around the music studios we have here on New Cross Road. You're going to witness some of the exciting things that happen. So we're just going to walk through the three studios we have here. First of all, we're going to go into Studio 2 where my good friend Anna is rehearsing. Hey guys! Hey! And Jilly. Holly. They each do have solo projects but right now they're rehearsing Anna's music. Do you want to tell us a bit about it? It's sort of electronic, vocal based fun, basically. So this is a, an instrument that I made out of my voice. So that's your voice? Yeah, that's my voice. And then I just play as that software instrument on here. This is a vocal light. It's just an effects unit, but we use it a lot for sort of like layered harmonies. It's quite nice to use that as an instrument on its own. Yeah, I forgot to say, all of these guys are third year popular music students. It's like such a wide range of There's music. There's so many different people. <laughs> yeah. different yeah. styles of music. It's really good. It's been the longest day. Thank you so much. Have a good rehearsal. Um, we're going into Studio One, which is the main recording room. Well, this is the control room, and we have people doing things. So this is Donovan. We're recording one of his tr uh, tracks at the minute. Yeah, but only the drums today. This is no effects, no EQ, nothing yet. After we've yeah. done this, we'll probably put it through. Um, the outboarding system. Yeah, we've got really nice uh, vintage compressors in the outboard rack here. We've got the Teletronics, it's the LA2A. Yes. You've used the tape machine, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, we use yeah. it quite a bit on sessions. We run it straight into Logic most of the time, so we can basically use it as a big, uh, a big effects machine. So we can get the sound of tape, but we can still work in, in Pro Tools or Logic or something like that. Oh, we've got this recently as well, it's a Space, space Echo. You get reverbs. Or repeat. It's quite good for like if you're doing sort of ambient music, so you get a real sort of analogy sound, and you get this noise like they're kind of hissing. You can do really drastic kind of stuff, like feedback, so you can kind of really hear the machine. So it becomes another instrument, I think, when you start using analog. And like when we've got these facilities, like we make use of them. Yeah, exactly. It's like they're here for a reason. <laughs> this is actually going to be on my EP, yay. Yeah. Which is supposed to be coming out in February, plugging. Uh, Should we go in the live room? Yeah. And then, then that's the final sound. That is not fair. It's not fair. <laughs> not uh, fair. This is the live room right now. We've got uh, Harry Denton here on drums. With the setup here. He's, it's all good. <laughs> so he's put the, he's got an overhead using a ribbon mic. The more, the more varied use of microphones you can get on the kit, the different textures you can get and therefore... Yeah, exactly. That's why we have. But like these that pull out and like create bar uh, sound barriers. For example, like if a bassist was here, we'd like set up a barrier so there's not much spill across the mics. I guess the sound kind of just comes together in here. I can't really explain it. It's kind of hard to explain. It's just, you know, when it feels different. And yeah. you can tell that a lot of time has gone into place to make it like that. It's amazing to sort of be in a place where, you know, there's so so many different things that you can use at your disposal. It's good to kind of have a go on them and see what they sound like. Mm. No worries. <laughs> Cheers. See you in a bit. Now we're going to go into Studio 3. This is Leah, she's a master's. Masters of Music and Creative Factors. Do you work in here a lot? Yeah, I work in this studio a lot. This tape machine is here and it always lives on the desk. So I use that a lot for mixing. Um, the drum kit is always set up. So I make electronic music, but I like to make my own drum samples. All the gear is here and then I'll set it up there or bring it over and plug it right into the desk. I'm going to get a roll of tape so that I can use it just for my own experiments. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm starting to distress the tape, so like crunch it up and then um, run synths through it. Yeah, I ran it all through the tape machine, but I made it all using the DAW, and I, I recorded the vocals in here. Yeah. And I ran it through like other samplers and things like that. Yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much, Leah, for oh, showing yeah, us fine. your work. That's it for the tour. You should come and see it for yourself. Bye.